Did you recently have a baby or are you pregnant and wondering what to put in your diaper bag? Well, good thing you came by because I'm going to show you just what you need. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Crystal and this is a motherhood and lifestyle channel where I talk about everything you need to know about motherhood. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you really need in your diaper bag for 2019. So let's get started. I recently had a new baby and his name's Oliver. He's three weeks old and he's sitting right here next to me. Now, I also have a one-year-old son named Dawson and he's actually almost two, but definitely still in diapers, AKA it needs to be in the diaper bag. So I'm gonna show you what I have in my diaper bag for a newborn and an almost two-year-old. It's not a whole lot, it's very simple. It's something that you can take in an everyday bag. If you notice the bag I have, it's actually not even a regular diaper bag. It's just a backpack I found on Amazon. I'm not really a big fan of huge diaper bags where you just stuff them and stuff them with like 10 times more things than the baby really needs. So I'm gonna show you in today's video how to be simplistic. I like to keep it very simple and very minimal because I don't like carrying a huge load because I already have to carry this guy in this car seat and that's enough for me to handle <laughs> because usually sometimes I'll also have to um, juggle the kids and holding hands and taking out of the car seats. So, you know, as a mom, you need to do what works for you. And I find that whenever I go out by myself, I definitely have to take the diaper bag. And the reason why I got it as a backpack was so that I can have both hands free to grab whoever and whatever and not have to worry about my purse falling or, you know, picking it up, making sure it's zipped up closed, you know. So this really works out perfectly for me. I have three kids and it's a huge handful. <laughs> so if you have two or more, I would definitely consider getting a backpack. Now this is my backpack that I purchased off of Amazon and it was only around $20. It was not expensive at all. So if you're looking for an affordable option for a diaper bag, definitely consider just grabbing a cute backpack. Now my backpack is not that big at all. It's actually, I would say a medium sized backpack because it can fit quite a bit of things. However, it's not so big to where I can fit his whole entire wardrobe or you know, something crazy. So. Um, I really like that it has this a pocket in the back. I can actually fit my phone in this pocket, so that's very, very convenient for me. Now, if you open it up, I know some people might be turned off by this, but you have to pull um, the strings back, and if you do overfill it, it has these zippers on the side where you can actually zip it down and zip it back up to tighten it. So, I can actually just zip it down to make it easier to show you guys everything I have in it. So the very first thing that I really, really need is my handy dandy travel hand pump. I have this hand pump. It is my absolute favorite. Um, it's the Medela version and I have the bigger cone on it. Now, this is perfect for if you don't know when you're gonna be back. You don't wanna lug around that huge pump, have all those extra pump parts. That's what I have this in here for. It's for emergency purposes for those reasons so that I don't get super engorged or so I don't start leaking. I mean, if you're a mom and you've ever leaked out in public, you'll know that's one of the most embarrassing things that can possibly happen. So this is definitely a must in my diaper bag. And the next thing I have is a spare bottle because I need a bottle to put that extra milk in if I do end up pumping. And these are his favorite bottles right now. They're the MAM bottles and I can actually hear the air coming out of it whenever he drinks it. And I love, love that because I find that he is less gassy when he drinks out of these bottles and he loves a nipple because he loves the nipple on these man bottles that we give him the man pacifiers and he loves them. Now with that being said, you also wanna make sure to have some extra pacifiers because if your baby is a pacifier baby, you know that to stop that crying, most likely 90% of the time, a pacifier will do it for you. So don't forget your pacifiers. I always keep two extra ones because you can never be too safe. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is a swaddle. I have this swaddle blanket because 
Um, a lot of times I'll think, oh, it's really nice outside, you know, this and that, but then I'll find that it's a little chilly or it might be windy or, you know, I might just need that extra comfort for him. Um, you know, you can never go wrong with having an extra swaddle blanket with you. This is probably the biggest thing that fits in my diaper bag, but it is so worth taking it around. The next thing I have in my diaper bag is a small bag and this small bag I absolutely love and the reason why is because everything that I need it fits in here and even if I'm just going on like a quick grocery shopping trip or I'm just like running to my mom's really quick or you know something like that I actually like to take this out of my diaper bag and I throw it right in my purse and it fits perfectly just throw it in and I'm good to go and I actually have clothes in here and diapers for both of my boys so it's super convenient and I got this um this is a pamper sample bag that I actually got with a whole bunch of samples I got from Target and so if you haven't gotten one of those and you have a baby registry or you're pregnant or had a new baby definitely stop there and get one because this is so awesome to have and I love that it's cloth because I if this gets wet I can just throw it in the washer so in here I have two diapers for Dawson which is my two-year-old, or almost two. And I also have two diapers for Oliver. Well, my poor little guy was crying and screaming, so my husband actually came and got him. But it was nice having him next to me. It's so awesome that usually he's a really good baby and I can do anything with him so long as he's in this glider. Seriously. Okay, so moving on in my little blue bag. Um, now I have clothes in here for both boys. I have an outfit because sometimes Dawson, um, he'll leak or he'll have a blowout still. Being almost two, it still happens. It's not fun, but it happens. And also for Dawson. So, um, I have a really cute, just simple outfit for Dawson, which are just, um, really cute Nike shorts because it is almost summertime. And... A matching shirt and I find that the the thinner the clothes and the smaller the better it fits in here I'm so happy about and for Oliver I have two onesies so just two basic onesies here's the first one and the second one and now I only have one pair of pants because you really don't need pants every single time and a baby's just fine in a onesie most of the time so I just found some pants that go with both outfits which are just these gray pants and another thing is I have a bib because usually um, whenever he's feeling really gassy or anything I find that he spits up a lot and so whenever I feed him a bottle I like to put an extra bib on and sometimes he just soaks the one he has on so it's always nice to have an extra one on hand and the last thing I have are just some cute little socks and surprisingly enough it all fits in this really small bag that I can just throw in each of the bags I'd never leave my house without it because without it oh my gosh I couldn't imagine not having anything extra so that's it for my little blue bag I love it I love the concept that I can just throw it from bag to bag and because most of the time I honestly don't like to take my diaper bag unless I'm going to an office visit or if I'm going somewhere where I'm going to be more than a couple hours or like maybe church I don't know so usually I just take the bare minimum in my purse and I always always keep some baby wipes in my purse my favorite ones are the honest wipes because they are so thick and durable and they come in the small packs of 10 and I can seriously just go and buy these sample packs at my local grocery store which is awesome so every single time I go I stock up I get like five of these at a time and I never leave the house without wipes seriously never okay so let's move on now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the fact that I take breast milk storage bags Sometimes, whenever I do need to pump, I need to find somewhere to put the milk. Um, sometimes I'll just take that lid to the Medela bottle and I'll just keep it in the bottle. But other times I don't really want to do that. And so I always make sure I have extra freezer bags. And also, it's just a lot more convenient to have. In my opinion, of course. And I also recommend having this little clip right here. Because anytime I am at the grocery store or if I am... Um, if I grab my stroller, it's always so inconvenient because this 
does not have open straps. This is all looped in. And so I just connect it to whatever I have. Um, it's so convenient, especially when I go on long walks or if I go to the mall or, you know, anything like that. It's so convenient to have so that I don't always have to carry my diaper bag. It's so annoying sometimes because it's just so heavy and, you know, you just don't want to lug it around. So I love this clip. Love, love, love it. Now, other things that I highly recommend having, if you have a child that is, I would say, about six months and older, you always, always make sure you have spare emergency toys because there's going to be those moments when your children just give you such a hard time. You need to make them happy quick. And you want to make sure it's also toys that they, you know they love and they haven't seen in a while. So I always try to sneak toys out of their room. So I actually have a few toys for Dawson in here. I have... A little toy car and I also have these little light-up sticks Um, he loves loves drums and so it's really cute when he has um, a couple of sticks to pretend he's drumming on and I love it because you can bang it on anything and it really not make that loud of a noise that is key y'all low noise and lastly I have some dinosaurs for Dawson because he's absolutely obsessed and so we have his stegosaurus and his triceratops. Don't ask me how I know that, I am a boy mom. If you're a boy mom, you need to know your dinosaurs. Now, before I end the video, I want to tell you my most awful, awful experience not having my diaper bag. Okay, so one day we actually ran over to Target because we were really needing to get a few items. And while we were there, Dawson was about six months old and he had the worst blowout diaper you could ever imagine it was all up his back and it seeped all through his clothes and we were already in the store so it's not like we can just turn the car around and go home and so we didn't have anything we had forgotten the diaper bag and at that time I wasn't really that serious about doing diaper bags or even taking extra things because I had never been in this situation before so I remember my husband running to the car to see if we had any diapers or wipes or just anything there and we didn't of course and so while we were there at Target I was waiting in the bathroom for probably like 10 minutes on my husband to go find me new clothes some diapers some wipes to get him all cleaned up in the bathroom and it was just like the most disgusting thing I had ever had to do because you know even though I love Target their bathrooms here are nasty so it was not fun for me um, especially being such a germaphobe oh god it was awful in the very beginning I even had to take those really ugly brown uh, paper paper like napkins and just wet them and wipe him and it was so hard because he was laying on that changing table and I would have to like hurry up and run and hurry wet the wet the napkin and run back before he tried to fall over and oh my god it was the worst so please please take your diaper bag everywhere with you I never want you to experience anything that awful <laughs> So that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you find it really helpful. Um, I know sometimes there's a lot more things that you think you might need. If you really do want to have those extra things, make sure you get them in a sample size because those sample sizes will fit a lot better in your diaper bag. And I mean, I really think it just depends on the kind of activities that you plan on doing for that day. And if your baby does have a diaper rash or have extra needs like uh, supplements or vitamins or, you know, any anything like that, you really want to make sure that you're throwing those things in your diaper bag before you're hitting the door because you're not going to need those items every single time you go somewhere. So make sure you're thinking, you know, for specific daily activities, what you really are going to need and um, definitely for the amount of time. So those are two things that you need to consider before you pack your diaper bag. This is what works for us. You might have something different that works for you. If you have any suggestions for me, please, please give me some comments down below and let me know what you like to put in your diaper bag. And if you really like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, y'all.